And so today I'm going to be working on assembling my heat press station. It's a table I'm building and in uh, the first video I explained how I uh, determined the measurements of it and sized the different pieces that make up the cut list. I've already cut the lumber um, so it's down here below me. So what I'm going to do now is start putting it together. and. First things first, I need to uh, put together the what's going to make the table. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill most of my screws. Well, not really pre-drill, but I'm going to start most of my screws. Makes it easier to actually assemble. I've got the um, screws where I want them. I'm going to go ahead and put the table together, or at least the first part of it. Okay, so I've got all my subframe assemblies uh, put together in the right here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to assemble the table. So what I've done is I've taken the lower legs and I have put them on top of the taller legs and then marked where those go because that, that indicates the top of the table surface. And I'm going to take my 5 inch and I'm going to put a mark on here, and this represents the bottom of the shelf frame. And the shelf does two things. It gives me more space to store things, always a good thing, but it also gives me um, structural support. So first things first, I'm going to start with the top on this one. And the reason is, is that um, the top is in a known spot. So I'm going to put one screw in. And then I'm going to use my square to make sure that the leg is square. All right, and at which point I'll put a second screw in and lock it in. Okay. Now I'm going to make some more space here process with the other leg. Slight variation, I'm going to start both screws, but I'm only going to put one in. Okay, so that one's square. Now I'll go ahead and attach this. All right. Now I can bring in my middle shelf. And I just simply position this where my marks indicate it needs to be. And then I'm going to double check it. Yep, that's good. That's not. That is. Now I would normally do this on sawhorses on a piece of MDF outside, but it's a little bit cold out and I don't feel like working outside right now. Um, so I'm doing this inside. Now the lower shelf has a cutout and the reason is it just makes it easier to stand in front of it. 
And this is a machine that you're going to stand in front of when, or it's a fixture you're going to stand in front of when you're operating it. Oh, wrong way. This is the bottom of that mark. And, you know, this is not fine cabinetry, so it's not critical to get it perfect. You just want to get it good enough. Now, if you want to get it perfect, go for it. So at this point, I need to put my um, front legs in. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to rotate the assembly on its side. And then these are going to come in, which should line up, but they're not. Well, sometimes these things happen. Uh, let me think how I want to solve this. I think the easiest thing to do is to undo this. point, this ought to line up. Yeah, it can be made too. Not super confident about the way this is going, but we'll see how this works. I see part of the problem is there's something underneath this one. these back in. Now, ideally, I wouldn't have this little piece sticking out, and I may come back and trim that off. Um, but what I need to do now is flip it over and put the other leg in. Oh. 
Oh, that was not good for it. So what I'm doing is I'm using my jig or gauge to make sure that this is five inches. And then I'm gonna double check that this stayed square. And it's not perfect, but it's close enough. There'll be feet on the bottom of these. So part of the issue here is I didn't calculate the depth in the front and I made a decision to set the shelf back um, when I was building this and so that's, that's why this didn't quite line up. Um, it's not really a big deal. So. I will cut those in a more stable position. Um, so at this point, I want to bring this down. So I've got my frame assembled and the way this works is the heat presses sit, this is the sized for two, they'll sit side by side. It's a little tight, but it's okay because one is for pre-treat and one is for curing. And the way these will work is um, they will uh, they'll sit here on a plywood top. It'll overhang by a little bit, and then there's a shelf above here, which is you can reach over the the heat press to get to, and um, it, it provides space for supplies and things that need to be up here. Um, and uh, and w because I have the offset, I can step in to the frame when I'm working and it, it's actually very comfortable. And that's why I made the, uh, the, the cutout in the shelf is so that when you're working, you know, you're not standing up against it, leaning over like this. You can actually brace yourself and lean into or step into the table and it makes it more ergonomic. So the next step is to cut the shelf for the bottom, trim those, put this and this in place, and then paint the whole thing and finish it. So stay tuned, those pieces are coming next. Thanks for watching.